Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today, we're going to create our very own NPC expansion pack. Okay, right, so what we're going to do today, we are going to create our own customizable or our own customized uh, NPC expansion pack. Now, you're going to need a couple of things for this. It's quite simple. Uh, you're going to need your NPC software, which obviously comes with your NPC. You're going to need that software. Uh, and then, let's move that out of the way for a second. And then you're going to need the NPC expansion builder software. So if you haven't got this, just download the or reinstall the NPC software. And there is a tiny checkbox that says, would you like to include the NPC expansion builder just check yes and this will appear in your uh, applications folder once it appears in your application folders you're good to go okay so that's that's that so right uh, we've installed it we've launched it and here it is now all we're going to need is a bit a bunch of <laughs> a small amount of text right so for today's experiment i'm going to add this uh, mad villains now this mad villains it's a obviously a software library uh, i've taken out i've decided to strip out all the rex files and all the other files the patches for uh, content and all the other things I, I don't need them in this so I've just stripped them out so we've just got a, a wave loop folder and some sound effects that's all I really want from this pack I don't need anything else the other thing we're going to need is a picture we should get a picture on there I'm going to use that one there which you can download off the internet and then a bunch of text okay so we've got our text this text at the top here should be in DNS format so you something like www dot uh, blah 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 and your name and the file name if you want in that format so I've already create the text file so I'm going to do that now I'm going to fill that in now so I'm just going to copy that over so here is our text file that I've copied over uh, the file itself is called mad villain so we're going to copy that over there so that's our extension folder there uh, it's by loop masters so uh, sorry let's just do that again it's by loop master so I'll copy that and I'll put under the manufacturer's name loop master here I will put version 1.0 uh, so if I ever update it then I can change it to 1.01 and it will do the update for me uh, second part the final part here I'm going to put a description because that's what I like I like to do things nice and neatly uh, here it speaks about uh, if you want to separate so if you've got multiple files separate them but I've already done that in this folder I've put an underscore in this folder so it will separate them out anyway most folders will come like that anyway Anyway. And last but not least, we're going to need our image, which we've got here. Uh, you can use uh, PNGs, JPEGs, um, any of the above, you can use them all. We're just simply going to drag that into here. Uh, finally, make sure that your NPC is on and connected to the software itself. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to choose a directory, choose a content directory. So now, uh, currently, this is sitting on my desktop. So I'm simply going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find that file, which is that one there. I'm going to say, cool, that's the one I want. Then it's going to say, where do you want to save it to? And I'm going to save the MPC extended file to my desktop. So I'm going to click that there. It's going to tell me it's going to create this file, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to say, yeah, cool, just create it. And I'm going to save that file to my desktop. Uh, what I will do is I'll save that file under the file name Mad Villains, so we can save it as there. We'll just save it there, and that's going to be cool. Uh, so let that do its thing. It's going to now go off, and it's going to build this file. Now remember, this particular file is 1.34 gigs, um, so it may take a little bit of time to upload it, but it shouldn't be too long. Uh, one word of warning: don't go overboard. Don't. I think I've uploaded some files, like four or five. Uh, gig files uh, they're not too bad but don't go overboard and just do sort of 10 15 gig files because it will be a bit laggy on your NPC but I'd, I reckon anything 3-4 gigs will be fine um, but what I also want to do is stress as well is if you have content in there like PDFs and all of that just strip them out because when you go to the NPCX or your NPC you will see those redundant files in there they're not doing anything other than taking up a huge amount of space and that's kind of unnecessary so if you see that in there just get rid of them because they are truly not going to be useful whatsoever so we'll wait a second while that builds its library uh, shortly after it builds the library and we create this file here uh, this is what we're waiting for the, it to create. Once that's done that, then we'll continue on to the next part. So that should be done in a few seconds time. So let me just minimize that uh, and wait for this to do its finally finish its thing. Uh, once that's finished, we will go to the next step. I should, just, I should just drum my fingers on the desk while this does its thing. Um, 
Uh, the other thing I should have mentioned that as well, you're going to need to, you're going to, you can only really do this if you have an external hard drive in your NPC, uh, and we will see that in a second. So, right, so that's done. It's business. It says finished. Now, it doesn't actually get rid of this folder. Don't click it again because you, it will probably try and go off and make another one. Generally, when I get to here, I just hit the exit button because I've already created the file. Right, so I've created the file. Now, what we're going to do on the MPCX. So what we're going to do is we will drag this window in here. Uh, so this is our connected file. So let's just go and grab that file and just in a blank window, just drag it and drop it into a blank window. It's going to say, here we are. We've got our Mad Villains. It's by Loot Masters. This is version one. Would we like to import it? And we're going to say, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's let it do its thing and let it import it. Now, this also shouldn't take too long. It tends to do this weird thing where it you don't see you don't see any movement and then before you know it just goes zap and then it's all done there we go it's all done so that's uh, kind of weird but it does that anyway right uh, so I do remember i said the npc should already be on and let's go ahead and let's go and take a look at that so uh mine has just timed out because it's had it on this empty screen for a while okay so we're going to say create a empty project we'll do that uh, we're going to hit the home button and we're going to connect our NPC to our computer by just doing this here and we're going to go to controller mode and we're going to do that there. It's going to look for our computer to make sure it's connected. Once it's connected, that's all good. So let's just have a look at that screen while that's running there. Okay, so back on our main screen. We're here and we are, we've are. we already imported this file. Now you will see, there we go here, there's my, my NPCX. I have a one... Uh, a one terabyte hard drive in there and I also have an SD card in there as well just for good measure okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that file that we just created on the desktop to here so we're gonna go to file we're gonna go to export and we're gonna export that expansion so that it goes over to our actual piece of hardware so here we have to select we don't want it on I don't want it to be saved to Windows but I do want it to be saved to my MPC which I've labeled here this is my internal hard drive and all we have to do is go down and find the file that we just transferred it's that one there and then all we have to do is hit export on that and it's going to go and do its thing if you have a look at the mpcx now that's also updating as well as this screen is updating and as soon as they're all done and all the files have been transferred it should appear both on my listings here and also as a um an expansion file in my actual hardware so we'll just wait for this to do its thing and once that is done we should be done and ready to go so we'll just give this a few moments more uh, take a look at the other one yep that is doing its thing there so it's doing its thing nicely uh, I haven't had an issue with this ever failing uh, in terms of not importing. I did have a dodgy cable before, a USB cable that did cause huge amounts of failures and then I actually just changed that. Okay, so that's almost done. Let's let that do its thing for the next few seconds and once that's done, we have just created our file and we are good to go. So okay, expansion is successful and it will appear here, which it does here and there it is there. Let's have a look at the hardware. So we're going to hit uh, browse on our hardware, we'll go to expansion on our hardware and we will just scroll down, sorry about that, and here we have it. So we can see it's already been installed and then we have our wave files here and then we have our music files and blah blah blah, there we go, that's how it's all done. <laughs> And that is how it is done. Now you will notice that what I have done, I've created some, I've created the NPCX logo and I've added that to uh, some of my custom files just because I can. Only some of them, I haven't done it to most of them, but I have done it to quite a few. You can see here where it says Sound Candy on it. Uh, and these are some packs that I've just installed, but I haven't done it to all of them, but I probably will do at some point because I like the uniformity. Uh, so these are all custom packs that I've actually added to my NPCX. But as you can see, it works and it works well. And that is, that is all there is to it okay that's it for me for now uh, if you need more information on how to do this just leave um, a comment in the section below and if you need if you want to find out any more how i go through my npcx and my workflow uh, hit me up and, and we, can, we can probably do a video on that too okay that's it for today take care bye bye for now